My name is Laura Christopher. I'm a fellow at the House Ear Clinic and today I'm going to discuss a research project that I'm doing with Dr. Deerberry on autoimmune inner ear disease. Uh, this is a rapidly progressive and ultimately bilateral sensory neural hearing loss. Um, the exact pathologic mechanism is actually unknown but it appears to be due to a, basically the immune system's attack on the inner ear and it's usually organ specific meaning it's usually only involving the inner ear. However, there can be some cases where um, a systemic immune response is involved as well. Um, the diagnosis is made on clini a clinical basis, meaning we usually use the patient's history and also hearing tests to determine whether the patient has this disease, and we look at the pattern and timing of their hearing loss. Lab tests are sometimes ordered, but this is uncommon. Treatment is high-dose steroids, usually prednisone. Uh, there are other treatments that have been starting to be used recently, mainly biologics, which are basically um, antibodies targeted to molecules of the immune system because this is an immune system uh, reaction. So our study is basically looking at two different things. And number one, we're going to be t looking into the diagnosis of autoimmune inner ear disease. This is kind of a difficult disease to diagnose because it can present in many different ways and also you have to have a high degree of suspicion in order to diagnose a patient with this. So sometimes these patients take many years um, to be ultimately diagnosed uh, with autoimmune inner ear disease. So our research project is going to be looking at a large cohort of patients that we have here at the House Ear Clinic because Dr. Deerberry is very specialized in this area and we are going to look at um, maybe their delay in diagnosis or their misdiagnosis and how they ultimately got to be diagnosed with autoimmune inner ear disease and looking at things that we can do to improve that delay or misdiagnosis. The second part of our study is going to be more focused on treatment and we're going to look at the non-steroid treatment options, mainly the biologics. We have relationships with some uh, rheumatologists here and many of our patients are taking these medications but there is not a lot of data in the literature um, regarding patient outcomes and so we're going to be focused on looking at those biologic agents and our patients uh, clinical symptoms and hearing tests and seeing how they improve or do not improve or stay the same over time using um, these new medications. Hello, my name is Dr. Kevin Peng, neurotologist here at the House Institute. Thank you for watching this video. The House Institute provides free educational videos for hearing health professionals worldwide. To help support videos like these and other educational efforts, please consider donating by clicking the link in the description box below. Your generous support allows us to keep videos like these at no cost for you and others. Thank you.